Hello, you guys. Welcome to Kingdom Living Way, where love resides and God is on the move. So glad you all could join me today. Believing all is well. Amen. And as always, don't forget to hit the like, the share, and the subscribe button. And let us know where you're coming from. So glad to have you. Um, I wanted to come on today with this word God gave me. I had something else I was working on, but he just dropped this word in my spirit just a few minutes ago. So I had to jot down some notes quickly. Um, now this word I'm giving here, and that's all of my words that I give, it may not be for everyone, okay? But it, it is for someone. It's either for someone at that particular time in their life or season, or it's for to come, or it's not your word at all. So it can go either ways, okay? So I wanna talk about your partner can't hardly wait to get to you. He cannot wait to get to you, you guys. Oh my gosh, we talking about the uh, husband the kingdom spouse okay they cannot wait to get to you now I know some of you ladies probably feel the same way you know uh, but right now we're talking about what God revealed to me was the kingdom husband they cannot wait to get to you wives okay they cannot wait to be with you to talk with you to love on you, to love you, okay? In other words, they've been working, but ain't no hands-on, okay? So it's, it's about time for some hands-on, okay? We're talking about good, clean hands-on now, in a good way. So, um, also, God reminded me of how the enemy been um been placing doubts in a lot of you guys mind he's been placing the opposite within your you guys mind the opposite for as saying your partner is not in love with you your partner this or that all negative stuff but God is saying, you guys, your partner can't wait to be with you. Mm. They cannot wait to be with you. And they love you, okay? So, since the enemy want to be so busy trying to plant seeds of doubt in the opposite in your mind, see, what God was showing me that I felt this in my spirit about I think a few weeks ago and I was going to do a video on it but I got some of the information but I, I stopped working on it so now it's the appropriate time to get this done in other words as I said earlier the enemy has been showing you guys the opposite He's been telling you guys the opposite. He's been showing you guys the opposite of what is really taking place, okay? What has really taken place already, because it's already done. But he's showing you the opposite so you can give up. So, the love is increasing, okay? I felt the shift in the spirit. As I said earlier, about two weeks ago, I could, you guys, I could feel it. I, I could feel the shift. Uh, oh, it's in my spirit. I felt it in my spirit. Um, and I read one of the comments from one of you guys. And I can't remember the person's name. They was talking about how they was feeling, um, they didn't say a yearning, but I understood that's what they meant. All of a sudden, they start feeling a certain particular way about their spouse. 
it was all clean now. I'm just saying it's clean love. But it was a, a, a yearning. And I... Um, uh, I could relate to what they was feeling. Because it was a shift within these kingdom marriages, okay? In the spirit regarding love, okay? So anyway... The enemy been turning up the heat on us. God done flipped the script on him. And he turned up the love volume. I'm just going to call it the love volume. But he turned it up on the enemy. See, when he tried to, to, to uh, bring us down, God just went ahead and just increased the love. Gave us a little more do dose of the love. Uh, I, I put it like this. He allowed the love to spring up even more. Because it's already in there. See, it was his doing, you guys. See, God is in control. I keep telling you that. He's in control. He know how to turn that love volume up. He know when it's time, because we can't handle it all at one time. <laughs> I know I can't. So he give us a, he deposit a little bit at a time, or he reveal a little bit at a time. He do uh, a little at a time. Ain't God is a good God. He don't overwhelm us like that. We can't handle that. I'm going to tell you one reason why we can't handle it. Listen to this, okay? So, God turned up the heat regarding these kingdom's connections, okay? He turned the heat up on the love as though many has been longing and yearning. The longing and the yearning has went to a whole new level. Mm, yeah. It went to a whole new level. And to the point that it was more a level of intense for one another. Okay? Now, what intense mean? It means a love of passion. See? That's what intense meaning. In this situation here, intense love is a passionate love where you're longing for each other. You're longing for one another. And I was, did a little research, and it said that love is like a drug. Mm. Or it can be as an addiction mm, 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 mm. to the person. To the person that you love, you guys. Love is an addiction for many. It's exhilarating. Oh, my gosh. Whew. And it said that every inch of you can feel it. You will feel it. So, also God revealed to me. This, this is this gonna get you right here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna back. I'm gonna back back all this up from where this message come from. And this is where the message come from right here. God revealed to me. I could see this individual. This kingdom husband was driving a vehicle, okay? All I don't know, was it an SUV or a car? But I want to think it might have been an SUV. I'm not for sure. But anyway, all I seen was a hand on the gear shift in the, in the middle here. The hand was changing them gears so fast you guys oh my gosh he was moving he was that he could them i ain't never my life seen that shift that fast but see that's because i seen it in the spirit realm you see what god is saying mm, that these kingdom husbands what he was revealing to me that they're being released okay mm. see when he this kingdom husband was shifting them gears so in such a hurry, like God put this also in my spirit. He was shifting gears like that was an urgency. And God gave me an example. It's like the conversation was being said between this kingdom partner and God. And so God said, I want I need you to go get her. Okay. I need to go get her. See, I done a video. Go get your wife. All right. 
God dropped that in my spirit. I could hear it in his spirit realm. He was telling these kingdom men, go get your wife, okay? So, here, as I said, the example of the conversation that was being said, God gave me, go get her. And this kingdom partner was saying, was like, uh, telling God, okay, I'm going to get her later or give me a few more days or I need a little more time. Okay, that's seven more right there. I need a little more time. But uh, either he might say when, but this right here was a little hesitation going on, I think, because he wanted, you know, God gave me an example of uh, the partner was trying to get a little more time to get, you know, get things situated or whatever. And God was like, no go get her now mm. now that's the example he gave me you guys he put that in my spirit he said now and see when god really wants something done he'll be a little uh, smooth with it at first but when he raised he, he put emphasis on it oh i'm I, i'm like okay you ain't gotta tell me again because when he put emphasis on say go get her now you know to make haste you know to make haste, you guys. And I think that what was going on with this uh, kingdom uh, spouse God showed me here. He had to make haste. He was, ooh, you guys, that, that that vehicle was rolling out. He was changing them gears, getting, getting to his partner. That's what I believe. So, in other words, God gave him the green light. Okay? So, you guys, men of you husbands. God is giving you the green light. Get ready for the green light. Now, like I said, everybody's not in the season at the moment, right? Everybody at different stages of uh, uh, preparation and things like that. Um, so this this could not may not be your word for now. It could be for later, and it could be your word. Just go to God and pray about it. But God is getting ready to give some of these kingdom uh, men the green light. So you get ready. And I really believe that a lot of you guys are ready. Mm -hmm. I believe y'all are ready. So you just need to continue to talk with God because he's going to get ready to give you these green light. It's like they, you got to get there in a hurry. And I really believe in my spirit when I said earlier about the urgency. See, there's a lot of things that's going on in the world. There's a lot of things that's uh, coming against these kingdom marriages. But the kingdom marriage, we already won, right? Okay. So, but, but there's some things that got to be revealed. Some things got to happen. In other words, everything got to be on schedule. Okay? So, that's why some of this is an urgency. You see, God know when to move and how to move. And that's when I was telling you guys early, some of your kingdom marriages might be uh, private. Your, your kingdom marriage uh, ceremonies might be private. Okay? And to keep your kingdom marriage private for a while until, you know, the proper time. Because, see, God know what's going on and what's brewing around. And when he say make haste, you better make haste because he's trying to move you. Move you out the way. Sometimes it could be out of danger or prevent you from particular types of attacks because, see, God knows everything, you guys. He knows what's coming and what lies ahead. So when he, he put emphasis on something, you know to make haste. He said go get her. You better go get her. Mm. I told you guys, I'm going to put that um, in the description box. Go get your wife. She belonged to you. That's what God said. Go get your wife. Mm. So, these kingdom men, ladies, they cannot wait to be with you, ladies. And I'm sure these ladies cannot wait to be with you guys as well. So, get ready. I know you're ready, man. And for the ladies, I know you're ready. As I said, whoever this word is for, I always take it to the Lord in prayer. But you guys, they cannot wait to be with you. And God has backed this up. He has backed it up with the uh, vision that he gave me about probably about two weeks ago. And so... 
They, 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 they been who you guys, you know how you've been waiting on something for a long time and, uh, seem like it's not going to happen or either you, and you just waiting them and, uh, uh, anticipating and just waiting and watching and waiting all of a sudden it catch you off guard <laughs> and it's like, here it is. Take it now. Go now. You you ain't got time to wait. Well, can I get this or get no no? You got to go now. Sometimes you ain't got time to get your shoes on or whatever. You got to go now. So this what this was. You got it was an urgency. So you guys be ready. Be ready. God is moving now. I'm telling you because I really feel in my spirit there gonna be a lot of the enemy is mad. There gonna be a lot of things that trying to hinder these kingdom marriages. I said earlier, but we gonna win. We already won, and God going to get us where we need to be in time. Some of you got to move fast and pat light. Mm. Some of you guys got to move fast and pat light. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Woo. Mm -mm -mm. See, you know, when somebody trying to hold you back, people try to hold you back. They don't want you to leave uh, or do this or that. They try to take, they try to uh, put everything uh, back out the way so you can come back to get it or or what or try to hide stuff or move stuff around anyway to delay you from going to where you need to go they do anything to try to delay you but this right here you guys no more delays Oof. <laughs> no more delays this is a quick move god is doing a quick move he say move you move with urgency because it's going to work out for your on, on your good. For your good, it's going to work out on your behalf. He say, move, move. This is an urgency, you guys. So you be ready. Mm, you be ready. That's all I have Oof. for you guys. I love you with the love of Jesus Christ. And have a great day until the next video.